Hello, this is Ian at Radcam. This video is for TP-Link. Uh, we're reporting a fault on a TP-Link T1500-28 PCT. So let's just show the setup. We have a number of APs on the bench. I think we've got about 10 of them. Uh, 9 or 10 there. And at the moment we just picked a pair of them to uh, use to demonstrate this issue. Got a laptop over here uh, showing the switch. Um, there's a white cable there plugged into port 23 and that's just our feed uh, onto the network. So we can do various tests and, uh, and upload and check this from other parts of the network. So at the minute we've got APs plugged into port 1 and port 2. As we can see on there port 1 is showing active, port 2 isn't. We can see just one AP lit up there. And if we look on here, we can see that port 1's active, port 2 isn't, obviously we've got active on 23. Okay, so we need to demonstrate the fault. We have actually found out a little bit more, but uh, let's demonstrate the fault to start with. So at the moment, you can see that um, there is activity on port number 1 there. I'm going to unplug port number 1. So all I'm going to do is go on to port number 1, unplug it. As you can see there, let's come out so you can see that. And just keep watching. There we go. Port 2 is now on. Let's go to the laptop. Let's put that there so we get the same uh, cable when we come back. Let's go across here. And again, straight away, you can see port 2 is now lit up. And port 2 is working. Okay. There's my cable I left. Let's grab this cable. Let's put this back into, uh, into port 1. There we go. And this won't work not going to come up, we're not going to get an AP there. It would have come up by now if it was going to. So again, let's demonstrate, if we unplug port 2, port 1 will then come up. So let's zoom out so we can see this. So unplug port 2, keep the cable in my hand there, and keep watching on port 1 light. There we go, port 1's come up. Let's just show you on the laptop. There we go, port 1's come up. Okay, same cable, same AP. This time I'm going to plug it into port number three. So three, two, one. There we go. That's gone in. And there you can see port three's come up across to the laptop. And there we go. One and three is working fine. So okay, one and two will not work, and one and three will work. Now so if you plug them in together, now this is a little bit more difficult to video and do at the same time, but I'm gonna have a go. So I've took the two ports out. Now, bear with the video while I actually line these up in my hand. Right, I've got them level now, let's just show that. And I need to try and plug them both in at the same time. Which is far easier said than done. I need to hold the switch with this hand. One's clipped. That was too late, we're not going to get two on there. Didn't get them in together, so that's not going to happen. So let's do that again. Let's just ease those out. Let's just try and get those lined up. That's all I could do with holding the back of the switch. Anyway. Let's just try. There, that seemed to go well. Let's watch the lights. Nope, I only got two. I only got two on there. Obviously not quick enough. I'll try that third time. That does generally work. Let's see if we can get that to go. There's a slight delay there. It looks like we've got one and not two. If you do get them on at exactly the same time, they do go. What I'll do, let's see if we can prop the, uh, prop the camera up to try and see that. It won't be easy with two hands. So let's take those out. Let's get ready. And let's go one, two, three. Uh, let's just make sure you can see that. Yeah, let's just move up so you can see. There we go. If you get them exactly at the same time, port one and two will actually work. And show on the laptop. There we go. One and two is operational. So, okay, now we say, is it just ports 1, 2, 3? Does it work anywhere? Well, yes, the same fault exists uh, anywhere else. Being careful, trying not to uh, knock the camera off at this stage. So, let's unplug those. And let's pick port, let's pick port 17. So, we'll plug into 17. 
we'll just show you 17 comes up there we go and 17 on the laptop and back here we're going to plug in to, oops drop the cable we're going to plug in to, to 18 there let's zoom out so you can see the switch lights Nothing on 18, nothing on 18, let's unplug from 18, let's make sure you can see this, let's turn the plug the other way up, plugged into there, let's watch the lights, there we go, it's come up, let's look. And that's come cool. up. So it's repeatable anywhere along the switch. However, what is interesting is that providing you don't have them uh, above each other, then it seems to function. Uh, this is a new thing we found out. So let's let's unplug these. Let's let's set the demonstration up. So let, let's use uh, let's use port one. I'm getting the two cables there. Right, port one. Let's make sure that comes up. Yep, yeah, absolutely fine. And now let's make sure you can see this. Instead of going into two, I'm going to go into port four. So we're going to port four. And there we go, that's come up. Now if I undo one, I'm going to port three. So you can see this. That won't work. So it doesn't like the opposing ports, so one won't like anything in two, three won't like anything in four, etc. If I now move four, make sure you can see this, to two, again, I expect this to work. You just can't have them in opposing numbers. So that's shown the fault. All we need now is a fix and we'll be ready to go, because obviously plugging this many in, we need to be able to... Uh, to use top and bottom row accordingly. Uh, this happens, you can see another switch below it. Uh, I've got another one here and we've had another six previous. All exhibit the same fault uh, with these uh, APs when we try and plug it in. And uh, just so you can see, let's zoom in on the box there, look. There you can see it does support 802.3 AF stroke A. So uh, yeah, this should be working. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.